iPhone shoot log now. DaVinci Resolve's on the iPad. It's also free. So today, let me show you how to color grade your iPhone log footage. It should be quick, easy, no excuses. Let's get into it. And here's what you'll need. An iPhone that shoots log, iPhone 15 Pros and up, an iPad with DaVinci Resolve installed, it's free in the App Store, and a way to transfer footage. AirDrop or a Type-C cable will do. All right, so after opening DaVinci, we're gonna start a new project. Let's call this iPhone log color. Something quick, awesome. And then from here, what we wanna do is bring our footage in. So we're gonna go to the media tab on the top left here. If you don't see it, just make sure you click on media and this will pop out. After you're in media, I'm gonna hold on the tab anywhere in this little window. And then we're gonna import media from photos. And then here, to make it easy, I'm gonna drag down to the Pro Res and then find the clips I wanna bring in. For this one, we're gonna keep it real simple and bring in this cloud footage I wanna kinda of mess around with. To that, you're gonna hit add, and then you'll be asked to change the project frame rate. For me, I'm gonna hit change, and there we go. After this, what you're gonna to wanna to do is drag these clips into your timeline. So you're gonna hold it, bring them in. After you do this, you're gonna to wanna to hit on the color tab, which is down here in the middle on the right side. Once you hit that, it will take you to this landing page. Right now I'm noticing I have a 16 by nine aspect ratio, so I wanna switch that. We're gonna to go to our little settings wheel on the bottom right, and then we're gonna hit here, use vertical resolution and hit save. Now we have a vertical clip. Starting here, you're gonna see some nodes, which I know could be scary, but just hang in here with me and we're gonna make this super simple. Today, we're just gonna really learn the basics of transforming your log footage to Rec 07 and then doing some minimal tweaks. So what we're gonna do here is gonna add another, let's say two nodes. So hit this little icon here that has two little squares and let's add those two, all right. And now what we're gonna wanna do is add a color space transform effect. So we're gonna go to our effects it's already selected for me. So what we're gonna do here is grab the color space transform and drag it over to the first node. Boom. And you're gonna see these settings here on the right where all the magic is gonna happen. So what we're gonna do, the input color space, we're gonna wanna set this to Rec 2020. And then input gamma, this is gonna be Apple Log. You can already see our footage starting to change a little bit. And for our output color space, we're gonna set this to Rec 709. There we go. And output gamma should be Rec 709A. So there we go. Um, something that we forgot to do a little bit earlier is name our nodes. So we're gonna hold on the node here and label it. What we're gonna wanna call this first one is CST for color space transform. The second one, we're gonna label this as well. We're gonna call this EXP for exposure. And the last one we'll call grade, since this is where we'll be tweaking a few things. And then something I don't like about iPad is that the space is a little limited, so sometimes you won't see certain icons. For example, this little color wheel with the three sparkles. Um, this is a quick way to just see your before and after. Um, here you can see how it looked when we brought it in, and now how that simple color space transform added a little bit of life to it. But we're not done here. Now we're gonna wanna go to the EXP node, EXP node. This is where we're gonna really handle the exposure, make sure it's not too bright, not too dark, all right? So here we're gonna change this with our offset, which if you see on these wheels here is gonna be the far right. And we're gonna mess with this little wheel under those numbers. So we're just gonna drag this. Let's make this brighter. So as you see, that's going a little brighter. And you, if you wanted to, you could go super dark, but me, I wanna brighten that up a little bit. Now let's go to our grade node. <clears throat> Here, what we're gonna do is mess with the colors, contrast, um, tweak a few little things. Today, we're gonna really just stay within this um, color wheels here, I'm not gonna go too in depth. So what we're gonna do here is add a little bit of contrast. Make that pop out a little more, there we go. Um, and then let me see these shadows, make it a little darker, there we are. Um, and then add a little bit of saturation. Cool. All right. And if you wanna mess with the lift, gamma, and gain, um, lift tends to be the darker areas, shadows, gamma, mid-tones, and then gain are the highlights. Um, feel free to tweak. And that's really it. We took our log footage, transformed it over to Rec 07, and did some minimal adjustments. There we go. 
And then let's just say you want to turn in the saturation a bit. There we go. Add a little more contrast. Like you could get really creative with this, which is really great. Maybe I'll make another video where I dive a little more in depth, but for now, quick and easy, free, can't complain. Thanks for watching. Hasta luego.